Okay. Hey, I'm rolling with Mobile Geeks right here at CS 2016, and uh, this is the new Acer J Primo. So after it was teased at Computex and, and again shortly shown off to some people at IFA, this is finally launching to the market, and it will be out at the end of January or the start of February. Some people are saying that's because of Windows 10 Mobile or compat compat compatibility issues, but looking at this right now, it seems to work pretty nicely already, and I think it's only just a production or a shipping issue that they maybe have hit there, so it kind of takes like two weeks two weeks longer than expected to actually get this to market. There's no really really anything that they're saying about delays on the side of the software. Um, but let's get back to the device. Um, this will launch for 599 euros in Germany or in um, a bunch of other European countries. What you get for it is a 5.5 inch screen with a full HD resolution. This is an AMOLED panel, so the viewing angles are definitely very nice. Brightness seems to be pretty much okay. And it does have a zero air gap. Uh, screen on here so there's no air gap between the screen and the glass cover and if you look at it from the sides you can see that this kind of has this rounded edge so it's got this kind of 2.5D look to it that they've managed to actually get done on this device. Um, brightness seems pretty much okay and definitely a nice panel. Color reproduction also seems pretty much okay. Um, the size ratio concerning the screen and the size of the device overall is not the most um, not the greatest, but it's definitely looking pretty much okay. Under the hood, we have the Snapdragon 808, which is the Hexacore SSC from Qualcomm running at 1.8 gigahertz. That's combined with um, 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of flash storage. So flash storage can be extended through one of those two slots because you always have a dual SIM configuration in here. Uh, but if you want to, you can use one of the slots with an SD card and the other one is then only going to be your SIM card slot. Down here we have the volume rocker, which is a machine from aluminum, I believe, because it feels uh, quality-wise pretty well, actually. This is your power button. There's no wobble to it, so they have managed to achieve a better quality than the Microsoft Lumia 950 and 950 XL devices, um, because um, if you look at it, it doesn't bend or anything. There's no creaking or anything going on like this, like we have on the Lumia 950, for example. Uh, on the back, you get a 21 megapixel camera. Right next to that is the dual dual LED flash right here. And at the bottom, again, the circular uh, theme that they're using on these devices is returning in the form of the mono speaker at the bottom. Uh, on the front, we have an eight megapixel, megapixel camera up here. Right next to that is the uh, front-facing speaker and the sensors as usual. On the back again we have this typical jade kind of look pa pattern on here so you have these uh, horizontal stripes on here. It feels kind of ceramic but it's all plastic definitely in this case. Um, looking at it from the bottom you'll see there is a USB Type-C connector right here which will allow you to plug it into its dock and have a quick connection to your PC. The whole thing is 8.4 millimeters thick and it should weigh in at just under 150 or just above 150 grams. Um, inside the cover back here is a 2870 milliamp hour battery that should last about a day. It is a bit smaller than the Lumia 950's battery. Um, but the usage time with a Snapdragon 808 should be pretty much okay. It might run a little shorter than the 950, but as Windows 10 Mobile is a pretty uh, frugal operating system, that should hopefully not be that much of an issue. Before I forget about it, up here you have your headset jack. That's a 3.5 millimeter standard headset jack. Uh, for the 599 that you would pay in Euro countries for this device you will always get this dock right here which is fully made out of plastic it is basically Acer's version of the uh, continuum dock or a display dock and it plugs in through that USB type C port that I just showed you and let's take a quick look at it um, there is a USB 3.0 port on here which is obviously used for the connection to the phone so they're not using USB type C or anything they're just giving you an adapter cable for USB 3.0 to USB Type-C to connect that to the phone. Right next to that is your HDMI port, nothing on the back, and if you move over to the other side you will see the proprietary uh, power adapter plug right there and another two USB 
2.0 ports for connecting your peripheral devices. Other than that, there is no other ports on this device, and it is fully made out of plastic, so it's obviously much cheaper to make than Microsoft's dock in this case. So this has just been a very quick look at uh, Acer Jade Primo in this case, and uh, this will be out again, as I said, at the end of January or the beginning of February for $5.99, including the dock. Uh, and before we leave, let me just try one thing because, nope, there's no double tap on here, so I think this is a software limitation from Microsoft Windows 10 Mobile in this case. So that's just been a quick look at the Jade Primo. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out this device at CS 2016, and if you like what we do on Agile, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and we will see you later.